Hi guys, it's Ariel here from Fix My Books to help you fix your books. All right, so if you remember in the previous slide, it says that on January 31st, the owner deposited um, some money into the checking account and so this is really how it goes with startups or new businesses that the owner has to deposit some money first so the business can start running so all you need to do is click new bank deposit make sure it's going to the checking account make sure that the date is correct so that was January 31st 2020 and then the account that we want to go to is owners equity the amount would be 2676.99 don't touch the sales tax just click save and close and that's it what you'll see if we go to the chart of accounts it says 2676.99 and then the next transaction is on february 1st we sent our customer leslie note an invoice so we're going to do that right now we're going to click new invoice and then we're going to choose Leslie and then we are going to add the products and services which is customer service support email and calendar management as well as email marketing. All right, so we've worked this many hours, six, six, and then for this, we worked a weird number of hours, but we have to click HST on because Leslie is a customer and she's in Canada. All right, so you can see that we invoiced Leslie for $391. And since she has an email here, we can click save and send. So a copy of this invoice will go to Leslie's email. But as this is a fictitious email, we're just going to click save and close. And now if we go to invoicing overview, right? You can see that we have an invoice here already of $391. And if you go to reports, profit and loss, you can see that the income is broken down here by revenue stream. And the reason why it is this amount is that is the income excluding the sales tax. Okay, so the next transaction is that we received a bill from Bell, our internet and phone provider on Feb 2. So we click new, bill, type in the name Bell, and then the category is telephone. And then the amount is 55.98. And then the sales tax is HST on. Make sure that this is inclusive of tabs because if you put exclusive and then you put 55.98 here, it will come out to 63.26. So make sure that 55.98 inclusive of tax and that is the actual amount that will show up as an expense all right let's save and close and that's it that's how you receive a bill from a supplier and the next thing that happened fab three is that we paid sonic our insurance provider so the thing to do with this new click expense make sure that you have the right account that you paid with. So in this instance, we paid using the checking account and we paid, sorry, and we paid 
Sonnet. So Sonnet, who is not there yet as a supplier. So all we need to do is click Add, Save, Sonnet will show up. This is our insurance provider, which is also not included. So we'll just click Expenses, Insurance, Insurance, Expense, and for Canada, the tax code for insurance is actually zero per So there's no HSD on insurance. So the amount that we paid on it is 40.23. The sales tax is zero rated. So again, the final amount is 40.23. And we paid this bill on Feb 3rd. And then we click save and post. All right, are you guys getting the hang of it? So we can just keep moving forward and we're doing the same thing with all the other expenses. All right, so on Feb 12th, we received payment from Leslie for our invoice. So all you need to do to do this is invoicing, overview, go to invoices, click on Leslie's invoice, Click Receive Payment, and she paid in full. So 391 she paid it on Feb 12th. All right, make sure that it says Deposit to Checking Account, because that is the account that we received the payment to. And then click Save and Close. So now, if we go to our chart of accounts and our checking account, you will see that we received the money here from Leslie and this is also where we paid for our insurance. And because we racked up some expenses on our credit card, we now have, have to pay off our credit card. So to pay your credit card expenses, just click new pay down credit card and we paid off our credit card using our checking account. How much did we pay? We paid $31.53 to our credit card and we paid this off on Feb 14th. If you're confused about the transactions that I'm doing right now, just refer back to the previous slide this, all these transactions will be there. Okay, so now we're going to click save and close. That's it. That's how you record paying off your credit card on QuickBooks Online. The next transaction that we did was that we paid uh, for office supplies from Amazon. So we'll just click expense. And this time we're using our checking account. So we'll just click, oh, Amazon is in there. So again, we'll just add the name of the supplier, like Amazon. And then we paid for office expenses. Paid for office expenses for the amount of $11.65. And then the sales tax should be HST on. So Amazon does have um, an office here in Toronto. And if you see the invoices that you receive from Amazon, there is sales tax so just click HSD on and then click um, make sure that the date is correct. So Feb 18 and the payment account is the checking account. So we'll click um, save and use since we have a lot of other transactions that we're going to enter on the checking account. Click save and use. Hey guys, I hope you liked the video and please don't forget to subscribe so you can tune in to the next videos in our tutorial series here on YouTube. And once again, this is Ariel from Fix My Books and I'm here to help you fix your books.